Alright, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue on. We're gonna do, uh, um, let's see, I, I think I might have said the monk, elementalist, and warrior, but we're gonna start off with the mesmer. Mesmer is fairly close, so uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Um, I'm going to show all of these just because, uh, so that way everyone can get a feel of where the second professions are and, and uh, how you can... Uh, do these quests so uh, hopefully we can do a little bit of fighting I know these first couple episodes have been kind of bland there so hopefully we'll get into a little bit more action here is a uh, lady Athena um, she is just uh, just north of uh, outside of Ascalon City so if you go north that's uh, where she'll be and we'll uh, talk to her and take uh, the a mesmer's burden oh, let's see what she actually had to say Hail and hello. How can this humble mesmer help you? At the watering hall southwest, southwest of here, you will find a rogue bull. Terrible creature, a menace to everyone coming to visit our humble theater. Here are some mesmer spells to assist you. If you dispatch the creature for me, I'd be most grateful. So we'll go. I'm happy to help. As you see, we got three new skills down there. Uh, Conjure Phantasm. Uh, we'll go down there and uh, Ether Feast and uh, Imagine Burden. Um, the Conjure Phantasm will uh, get, cause a constant uh, degen. That's where they'll kind of lose, I think it's well, minus 5 health probably about every, I think, half second. I'm not exactly sure what the exact stat on that is. Ether Feast is, uh, it'll cause the enemy to lose 3 energy and you'll gain 20 points of energy or 20 points of health for each uh, point of energy loss so if they have two energy and you try to steal three you only get two and then so in all you only get 40 health and imagine burden just slows the movement down the opponent's movement by 50 percent for eight seconds so what we'll do is uh actually we'll, we can take advantage of the longbow here the longbow has uh the the large is it's tied for the longest range in uh, all of the bows so uh we'll go ahead and attack from a distance here with a power shot oh, it's not really going to do as much good as it we'll give it an imagine burning as you notice uh this is not the best for us because it uh it kind of kills all of our energy because we we don't have a lot of energy we're not a spellcaster so we're not a uh, designed to have a lot of energy loss We'll continue attacking him here. Give it some more attention. I'm causing zero damage with this, so oh, it's a level five. Awesome. Cool, we killed it. All right, so we'll go back to Lady Athena up here. She uh, she should give us some kind of reward. Hopefully. Now, um, for most uh, beginning players, I definitely suggest that you take the monk secondary profession, just because that gives you a lot of choices for healing and self-healing, and it, it kind of allows you to stay alive a little bit easier. So we'll uh, talk to Lady Athena. She's back already. Excellent. I can't thank you enough for taking care of that dangerous bull. No problem, Lady Athena. I got your back. Now, here uh, she is giving us a choice to permanently become have a mesmer secondary profession now if mesmer is what you uh, feel like is what you want as your secondary profession you go ahead and you'll click yes I'm ready to become mesmer but uh, since we're gonna do all the other ones I'm gonna go with no so uh, okay now that we're back in Ascalon we're gonna go talk to Amir again and we're gonna question about a second profession and we're gonna ask him where the necromancer is because we'll go do the Necromancer secondary. We'll press M, see if we can go anywhere to get faster. And look, we can travel to Ashford Abbey to get us a little bit closer. So we will go over there to uh, do this quest. We might have to do these quests in bunches of two because of time restraints. I'm not exactly sure how much time. I wonder how much time I've left in this episode. Not sure. But anyways, uh, we'll take a look at that after we're done with the Necromancer. So uh, we were, we're in the catacombs now, which is uh, right outside of uh, Ashford Abbey. We're going to go talk over to talk to Necromancer Mune over here. She says, Ah, an adventurous one, what brings you to the dark day today? 
Um, well, what you can do is uh, you can take both these quests because actually one of these quests will overlap with the uh, monk's quest. So uh, this is um, it, she just wants us to go deliver some candles, uh, I believe, to some kind of shrines or something like that, con commemorating dead people. I don't know. I'm not going to read that. Um, but uh, here is the Necromancer quest, if you want a Necromancer secondary. It's a uh, Necromancer novice. We'll go ahead and accept this quest. And uh, it's going to ask you if you want to get rid of your Mesmer skills to teach you Necromancer skills. We're going to go yes, because it's it's nice to have those for uh, for the... Um, there's a word here. And it's nice to have those for the quest. There we go. Okay, now we're going to follow her, because she's going to lead us down to some depths of this, these catacombs here. And hopefully, I should try to keep up. Ha ha ha, funny, funny, funny. Because, uh, like, you can outrun me. Anyways, anyways, we'll kill this restless corpse with her. What level is she? She is level 5, so it should not be a problem for her. Now, um, I, I believe she can die. I, I don't think she will, but if she does, uh, you're probably going to have to zone out, uh, meaning go back to Ashford Abbey, come back in, so that way you can uh, find her again and this time try to keep her alive. I don't think she's going to die, though, especially with you here. Oh, yeah, I forgot the Necromancer skills that we got. We got Life Siphon. Oh, man, just keeps on interrupting like crazy. All right, on the run here, we'll uh, we'll kind of start to level up, and uh, I'll, I'll explain about leveling up here. Every time you level up, you get a certain amount of uh, um, attribute points. Uh, the more attribute points you get, you, the more you can put into these uh, your different attributes here. Um, make sure immunity doesn't escape here. Uh, every time you put in a, a tribute point to your your uh, attributes, uh, the skills in, under that fall under there will get uh, more powerful. So uh, for now, since we're really only using marksmanship, we'll go ahead and put one in there and uh, see that up. Increase it level one, but in order to increase it to level two, you see that now it costs two points, and we have four left. So we'll go ahead and put another in there, and now you see it, it'll cost three in order to increase it another level, and we only have two left, so we'll go ahead and put one into expertise and one into wilderness survival. Please stay tuned for the remainder of this episode four and part two of the Necromancer quest.